Fishing is an essential pastime. Each year, almost 35 million people in the U.S. alone enjoy this adventurous and peaceful sport, even though it's more recreational for many. Fishing is not just about the thrill of a catch or a weekend of peace and quiet in a boat with your buddies. It's an industry feeding communities and creating jobs. But nothing compares to your first big catch, because when it comes to fish, size does matter. Check out 15 of the biggest catches of all time, part two. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a big catfish right there. Number 15, Flathead Ed. When you catch a fish this big, you deserve to become a fishing legend, at least locally, and Flathead Ed is no exception. His mustache is equally as legendary. And you're not gonna believe this, but he managed to hook a record-breaking fish while he was asleep he was snoozing on a fold-out cot on his 24-foot pontoon boat on Bartlett Lake in Arizona. Suddenly, a fish was on the line, and Eddie Flathead Ed Wilcoxon was shaken awake. A huge catfish. It took 35 minutes and one hell of a fight, but he did it, and a legend was born. Flathead Ed caught a 76.52-pound flathead catfish, a state record, as confirmed by the Arizona Game and Fish Department. It measured 53 and a half inches in total length with a 34.75 inch girth. The flathead catfish, called mudcat or shovelhead cat, is a freshwater catfish native to North America. Inhabiting deep pools, lakes, and large, slow-moving rivers, the flathead catfish is popular among anglers. Its flesh is widely regarded as the tastiest of all catfish. Its size also makes the flathead catfish an effective fish to keep in large aquariums. As for Flathead Ed, he often sleeps on his boat on longer fishing trips, and that's the commitment that earned him the title Flathead Ed. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. You don't have to watch an episode of River Monsters, the British and American adventure program, to know that the Earth's waterways hold big mysteries and big fish. And because communities around the globe fish to feed their families, there are multiple local myths and legends about what's waiting in the water. The legendary fish, Bahumet is a sea monster from biblical times thought to be a giant fish, believed to be so big it holds up the earth. In Japanese mythology, the Namazu is a giant underground catfish that lives under the islands of Japan, and when the fish thrashes about, it causes violent earthquakes. If you don't come across a fish this enormous in such a small body of water, your puny little net is going to do too much. It's likely you might just end up fish food. Your friends could even end up in this river monster's belly. What would you do in this situation? Tell us everything below using the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, the Antogo Fishing Frenzy. The legend behind this fishing festival holds that a young woman discovered Antogo Lake and its miraculous fish, and soon it became sacred to the locals and a ritual for fishing in the desert pool. The Antogo Festival is a spectacle like no other opening day for fishing across the world, and it's a celebration, a fishing frenzy. Once a year, locals rush the lake in Mali, West Africa, feverishly hoping to snatch a fish. Residents file into the lake to grab whatever they can during the short-lived Antogo fishing frenzy during the dry season in Mali. It's the Sahara Desert after all. The fish are easily caught in the shrunken lake. Within minutes, the Dogen fishermen empty the lake of all its inhabitants. Although the lake is sacred, people crowd in, young and old, armed with cone-shaped fishing baskets and handmade tools to catch the fish. All of a sudden, 400 bare-chested men jump in and the fishing party has officially begun. Holy men bang on drums, people sing and dance, the Intelgo fishing frenzy goes wild for about 15 minutes, then a gunshot marks the end of the ritual. All fish captured are put collected and given to the oldest wise man of the local village. He distributes the fish bounty amongst the villagers. Number 13. Monster Sturgeon Catch If you know anything about ice fishing, then you know it can mean a lot of long days, freezing your butt off, sitting around a hole in the ice. But when you catch something this big, the long cold days might just be worth it. Darren Troseth pulled a 78-inch sturgeon out of the ice in St. Croix River in Minnesota. 
five inches longer than the current state catch and release record. The sturgeon was so big, the lucky fisherman, alongside his trusted ice fishing mates, they had to widen the ice hole while they tried to slowly get the river monster out of the water. They drilled three additional holes around the two original holes to reel it in. It's been said that sturgeon have existed for as long as 135 million years. This sturgeon that Darren hauled out of the river was over 70 years old. You understand the gravity of this powerful species when you work this hard to fish one out of the St. Croix River. These fish are strong and extremely well adapted to these harsh environments, much worse than an ice fishing hut on a frozen waterway. If you're considering giving sturgeon fishing a try, you need to be aware of all of its regulations. Many states and countries have different rules that are applied for this kind of fishing. And oh, make sure to dress warm. Number 12. Boarded by a sea lion. We're pretty sure these commercial fishermen were not expecting this when they hauled their nets out of the ocean. A sea lion? For real? And good thing they did because that sea lion would not have survived being trapped underwater. He may have been very angry, but he survived the ordeal. The sea lion tossed the fisherman away like he was a rag doll. The boat off Russia's Pacific coast was hauling in its nets when they discovered the beast and lowered it to the deck. Even the ship's dog got bitten while the sea lion struggled to escape. It wasn't until the fishermen brought out the big hose that they managed to drive the surprised sea lion off the boat. This particular species is called a stellar sea lion, the largest of its kind in the world. And this female was likely hunting for the same things those commercial ships were hunting for. Fish, squid, octopus, and occasionally smaller seals. And sometimes these sea creatures end up in the nets, but most aren't as lucky as this sea lion. We suppose for the fishermen who got tossed, a little rough housing from an angry female sea lion is an occupational hazard. However, researchers can learn plenty from these brief encounters between sea lions and humans. Number 11. The Black Tip Frenzy The Black Tip Shark is a species of requiem shark common to coastal, tropical, and subtropical waters around the world. And each year, thousands of them make their migration through Florida's waters. However, they're not alone. They're being hunted by hammerhead sharks along their route. They're huge, up to and over 14 feet long and these black tips pale in comparison size-wise. They're a nice meal for a savage like the hammerhead, and this influx of black tips makes for fruitful hunting. Unfortunately, there's no warning that these black tip sharks are being stalked by a hammerhead, and larger sharks can just pluck little sharks out like a feather off a bird. The trademark hammer-shaped heads are called cephalofoils. Hammerheads detect the electric fields in the water with sensory organs designed to help them narrow in on their prey, like these migrating black tips. The drone camera flying above them can also help researchers better understand how amazing both species are. And they can even warn swimmers nearby. They don't attack humans normally, but hammerheads are very curious creatures. Don't risk it, just get out of the water. Number 10. Guys fishing for a giant anaconda. Okay, warning. Whatever these people are trying to do with this giant anaconda, never try it. I repeat, do not try this when you're on a small boat. That anaconda is much more powerful than that boat, and even they don't hunt humans typically. They just eat you. The serpent is estimated to be at least 17 feet and was filmed moving down the Santa Maria River in Brazil. These irresponsible boaters probably should not be trying to catch an anaconda by the tail anyway. Clearly, the snake is annoyed and only trying to get away. If you want to find a green anaconda, they live in swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams. They're a little slower on land, but stealthy and sleek in the waters of the Amazon River. A member of the boa family, the Amazon's green anaconda is the largest snake in the world. It can grow to more than 35 feet, weigh more than 800 pounds, and measure more than a foot in diameter. They're non-venomous constrictors, coiling their muscular bodies around captured prey and squeezing until the animal suffocates. Anaconda jaws are attached by super stretchy ligaments that allow them to swallow their prey no matter the size. And these people in the boat narrowly avoided a very different outcome. Anacondas have teeth too. There will be no chance of escape. Number 9. San Francisco Great Whites When you're fishing in the turbulent oceans of the San Francisco's Bay Area, remember it drains water from approximately 40% of California into the Pacific Ocean. And fishermen who take on these waters are bound to bump into monsters like this. Great White Sharks. There's no other shark like it. As seen in this amazing footage of some unsuspecting fishermen that hooked the great white, 
Joey Gamez, owner and captain of a sports fishing company, had set sail with six others to fish the San Francisco Bay, looking for seven gill and soup fin sharks. And then this happened. An experienced fisherman would assume it was a large seven gill. And after they hauled the anchor up, the fish pulled the 26-foot boat around for an hour while they tried to reel it in. And the great white appeared, fighting against the boat, to the delight and terror of everyone. Multiple arms were required to keep the reel moving. This is a professional fisherman's dream. White sharks roaming the waters in California are protected under laws, according to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. If fishermen catch them accidentally, they can't keep them. Number 8. Giant Jellyfish Encounter A couple lucky filmmakers near Cornwall, England had been diving for about half an hour when a single enormous jellyfish emerged out of the murky water. I've never seen one that big, said Lizzie Daly, a biologist who saw the creature, a barrel jellyfish. Daly and an underwater camera operator were diving and swam with the impressive and unusual animal for about an hour before it swam away. It's the largest of their kind in the United Kingdom. Unlike other common species, the barrel jellyfish's tentacles don't protrude directly from its bell. Rather, its eight arms each contain small tentacles which surround hundreds of little mouths for consuming trapped plankton. It has a mild sting, not like many other jellyfish with deadly stings, and poses no threat to humans. However, few people even get to see them in the wild. Instead, most people encounter the marine animals when they wash up on beaches. Thousands of the creatures flock through the Atlantic Ocean towards warm coastal waters in the west each year. And warm blooms of plankton bring these big beauties closer to the shore. This barrel jellyfish was as big as a grown adult human. Number 7. One-Eyed Albino Shark Caught this unusual catch may not be big in size, but to catch a one-eyed albino shark is a big deal. There's no question that this would make for the most unusual fishing experience of any fisherman's life. It looks like a creature from an ocean apocalypse science fiction movie, but it's very, very much real. So when a shark pup with albino skin and a single eye was found by fishermen in Mexico, people didn't know whether to be frightened or fascinated. Shocked fisherman Enrique Lucero Leon caught a female dusky shark and this shark pup was removed from the pregnant mother shark. Albinism is a lack of pigmentation in the eyes, skin and or hair known to affect mammals, fish, birds, reptiles and amphibians. And it's pretty rare. This baby shark was not only albino, it also only had one eye. Pretty much like catching a unicorn in the Gulf of California. There are many creatures in the mythology, folklore and fiction of many cultures who are one-eyed. So maybe this little shark pup was in fact a mythical and perhaps magical creature. So thanks, fisherman. Now we'll never know. But to the fisherman's shock, he found the albino shark embryo along with its nine regularly developed siblings inside another shark he captured. A diamond in the rough, as they say, but still quite a catch. Number 6. Monster Catfish Records Fishing for catfish is a competitive sport, and many fishermen throughout time have claimed to have caught the world's biggest catfish, but the actual ability to confirm these catches is challenging since freshwater catfish exist all over the world. There are numerous records that claim to be the top spot. Fishermen in Thailand netted a huge beast in the Mekong River, nearly 9 feet long. The Mekong giant catfish cracked the scale at 646 pounds. They said it could be the largest freshwater fish ever caught. In the United States, Cato Mudcat Mudger spent mornings out on the Mississippi River in search of a catfish and his angler skills paid off because he hooked a monster and was dragged down the river by the fish. Mudcat was spotted by the Coast Guard. They called for backup and 14 men were on the scene to battle that catfish. The battle lasted all day and through the night until they pulled it out with a crane. The catfish weighed in at 736 pounds. A Mekong giant catfish around 170 years old and never seen in this part of the world. Catfish swim in the waters of the Mekong, the Amazon, the Yangtze, or the Congo. Don't forget the Colorado River or Lake Baikal. Number 5. Russian Fishermen Find Mutant Monster Is it even a fish? A terrifying mutant fish? From Russia with love, something else you cannot believe could be living in the sea. And you can imagine, it gave fishermen a fright when they fished it out of the coast of Russia. The unusual catch appears to have a mouth on its neck as well as its face and a bizarre hook tail. The bottom of the mutant fish was filled with a transparent liquid, which drips out as the men hold up the unfortunate looking fish. 
in the United States, an experienced angler reeled in a mutant fish with two mouths on Lake Champlain in New York. A woman named Debbie reeled in the freakish animal during a fishing trip thinking this is a good one. And good isn't quite the word we'd use to describe what she caught. Indeed, a fish with two mouths. She let the fish go unharmed, but not before taking a few pictures of her unusual catch. Although toxic waste was never confirmed in either case, many experts have blamed nuclear disasters for the fish's frightening appearance. Like the Fukushima explosion in Japan, toxic waste will forever change the ecosystem around it. Some of the damaging effects of Fukushima can be seen in the oceans worldwide, including sea creatures with strange mutations like these. As fascinating as they are, still kind of hard to watch. Number 4. Deep Water Tuna This remote operated vehicle was doing a deep water inspection of the risers on a deep water drilling rig when they came across this, a rather big tuna in the Gulf of Mexico, like 18 feet long big. This size of this fish was estimated based on the known size of the rig's riser with a 4 foot diameter being inspected by the rove operator. What kind of tuna grows that big? The reigning world record bluefin tuna weighs an impressive 1,496 pounds, but can weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. The coloration doesn't match those of a bluefin. The current record-holding yellowfin tuna ever captured weighed 427 pounds and was caught off the coast of Mexico. However, a magnum yellowfin has sweeping sickle fins, which aren't present on the 18-foot tuna in the deep water footage. Or maybe it's a big-eye tuna. This species gets big too. The current world record Atlantic Big Eye Tuna came in at 392 pounds, 6 ounces, but the fish in the video simply has to weigh more than that, if it's anywhere close to 18 feet long. Perhaps it's a species of tuna that hasn't been discovered yet and swims at depths that can be reached by other tuna fish. But still, whatever it is, this tuna certainly embodies the greatness of this powerful fish and the value of sending cameras into our deepest oceans. Number 3. Adriatic Coast Great White Italian authorities had to close beaches off the Adriatic coast after a sighting of a great white shark, and once word got out, holidaymakers fled Italian beaches for 30 miles. After a great white shark attacked a fishing boat off the Adriatic coast, the great white shark, estimated to be 18 feet long, was spotted by fisherman Stefano Catalini, although they don't normally swim in those regions, and it only increased panic levels locally. It doesn't help that this was the same kind of shark that was made famous in the movie Jaws. Perhaps this shark was stalking Catalini. This amateur film shot by his 10-year-old son, the Great White, was attacking the Catalini's 30-foot boat, seizing a container of bait. The shark devours a smaller sand shark, then circles the Catalini's boat as if it's hunting the father and son fishermen. It's believed to be the first time the species has been seen in the area. And they're on the move. Researchers believe that great whites will eventually adapt to other waters as they follow shoals of smaller fish. They could even reach British waters within 10 years. Considering these ancient sharks have been on Earth longer than trees, they already own the oceans as its premier apex predator. Number 2. Record-breaking pole line fishermen Check out this action, the most ethical and fast way to catch our beloved tuna fish. Pole in line refers to an ancient fishing method that supplies about 10% of the world's canned tuna today. And it's a good thing. Better for you, better for tuna, and better for our precious earth. It's a super exciting process to watch because tuna are big and they're fast, and these fishermen are literally plucking them from the sea. Since pole in line fishermen catch one tuna at a time and pull them onto the boat right away, there's little chance to hook unintended sharks sea turtles and diving seabirds. It's the most sustainable method of catching the most sustainable tunas and popular in restaurants worldwide. Canned tuna is a staple in many people's pantries as well. Americans and Europeans buy more canned fish than anyone else in the world, importing almost a million tons a year. And you can tell the difference on your canned tuna labels. Pick a brand that has pole and line clearly marked across its side and you can rest assured your fish were caught ethically without a side of guilt and watching the pole line fishing makes you appreciate their hard work even more. Number 1. Mudcat Sewer Fishing Good thing we saved this fishing gym for last. You wouldn't expect to find big catfish swimming in your local sewers. In some parts of the world, catfish certainly do swim through our drainage systems and these young fishermen found catfish in their Texas neighborhood sewer as well. Kyle, a 15-year-old high school student, fishes for catfish in the storm drain 40 feet from his house. 
He says it's an untapped fishing paradise teeming with silvery bluegill and carpulate catfish. And he creates videos of his unusual fishing spots under his local neighborhood manholes. Pretty interesting hobby. He literally lowers pieces of hot dog on the end of a rope and pulls up a fish. A large mud catfish to be exact. And he's bought bass, catfish, and bluegill fish too in the same sewers. Kyle's sewer fishing began over four years ago after a friendly bet with his father. He was convinced he could catch fish down in the sewers, and sure enough, he caught a small bluegill fish and won five bucks for it. <laughs> However, he couldn't possibly eat the fish, although technically they are edible. But let's face it, these catfish are living in the sewer. Kyle makes sure to catch them and set them free again in the Texas sewer system. The 15-year-old says people who pass by look at him as if he's crazy, but he loves it. Those were 15 of the biggest catches of all time, part two. Thanks for watching.